Hello everyone over there at Discount Kitchen Factory in the UK. I hope you're doing well. My name is Charles and I just saw your post on Upwork and I figured let me um just shoot a short video showing you what I do. A few things that you can um that you can do to get your needed results. Um I know you want to get noticed for these three um keywords here, fitter kitchens, kitchen cabinets and kitchen units. Um I'm not sure if you want it local, meaning if someone's searching for fitted kitchens London or kitchen cabinets Brixton or you know kitchen units Brighton, etc. Um because that's more of local. If you're going all across if you want to be um all across the UK in your search results, then that's more of a natural uh, sorry, a national um SEO effort to to do. So I know you were not requesting for just an audit of the site but i just wanted to show you a few things that i found out just going really quick with your um with your domain name and with your competitors domain name because looking at your competitors and this is how i know you guys know a little bit about seo looking at your competitors is one of the best ways to get in front of the google searches when you analyze your competitors so um this is your website here which is great um the only thing I want to say before I get into my tool and into other things to optimize optimize with Google it's important to have about 1500 words of um, authoritative text on the front page of your site or the sites that you the pages on your website that you need um, to come up first to rank on uh, Google search results it's important to have enough authoritative text to optimize you need about 1500 words Authoritative meaning shows exactly what you offer, who you are, what you do, um, even your location, and goes and also includes these keywords that you're um, looking to rank for. For example, I can see here in your heading, um, fitted kitchen, you have that, and that's one of the keywords um, that you're looking to rank for. Here, fitted kitchens. So I definitely include it maybe four or five times on your front page, not just in the heading, but also in your descriptions. Um, and goes goes the same with any other keyword you want um, uh, to rank for. Make sure it appears a few times on the pages you need it to rank for. This is so that Google brings you in front of those searches. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is citations. You know, if you go online, and I have a little spoof tool here that can help me say, let's say I'm in London, UK. So it'll give me a search as if I'm in London. And if I say fitted um, kitchens, or fitted kitchen. You see, it gives me the locations as if I'm in the UK. This area here, known as a map pack, is more or less more more for local SEO. And ranking high over here, uh, contrary to popular belief, it's not just about uh, um, number of reviews, but also number of citations. Citations are anywhere online, different online directories that your name, address, and phone number are cited. So directories like Yelp. Better Business Bureau. Um, I'm not sure if there's one in the UK, but such uh, such um, relevant online directories. The more search engines find you in those directories, the more they'll know that you're um, you're relevant locally, and you'll rise higher. There are tools out there like Whitespark.ca. Um, Spark.ca or Bright Local that can help you do this. They can help you analyze your competitors and um, find out like these top three here which are um, showing up for this search you can find out how many citations they have and where they're cited using tools you know like, like white spark or bright local and therefore you know where to go for you know you need what i'll do is that blast them i'll get maybe 50 or 100 more citations so that you stay on top of this map pack uh, last thing I should talk about is backlinks uh, with your site. Let's get back to your site. And um, <clears throat> this is where my tool called Arefs uh, helps a lot. Uh, back, just a quick refresher, I'm sure you're already sure, but a backlink is basically when another site links to yours. So um, if a, a forum on kitchens is linking to you, that is uh, considered a backlink. Not all backlinks are the same, because if it's a Wendy's that's linking to you, Def, uh, Google can recognize a difference in theme and will count it as more s spammy. That's why it's not advisable to go and get random backlinks. It's better to um, get high quality backlinks.
Now let's an analyze your competitor here. Um, you see they they do have a lot more text, well quite a bit more text, not not too much. Maybe I'll say double the amount. Um, no, not double the amount. Maybe the about the same amount. So I'll definitely increase text on your front page, and then using my tool, I'm gonna look at the them. Now these are the these are the the um, the keywords that they're ranking first for. You can see here's the position. This is the traffic they're getting because of the keywords, and this is the volume of monthly searches in this column here. And you can just go but go down. This tool has analyzed what keywords they're being picked up for on Google, and you can see they're ranking position number one in very very many keywords. Um, let's include the word fitted and see what results are shown here. Um, so they are ranking first for modern fitted kitchen and out of the 250 people per month on average who search, they get 10 people going to the site because of that. Fitted kitchen door, fitted kitchen doors, new fitted kitchens. So they are getting traffic from different variations of the keyword. Fitted kitchen, kitchen fitted, etc. Now, um, <clears throat> this is a good way to research what kind of um, buyer intent uh, keywords to include in your site. And then backlinks. Now you can attach backlinks to keywords um, or just have backlinks, but it's important to research your competitors' backlinks. And you'll see that there are very many. Uh, while this is oh, here, we are already. So these are the backlinks, but what's more important is to look at the referring domains. However, this is what SEO is about, going or part of SEO, going into your competitors' um, backlinks. I'm going to just look at which uh, domains these backlinks are coming from and make sure you get a backlink on the higher quality uh, domains. Um, so you can go through your competitors, I'd say the first three competitors on Google, or, I mean, yes, definitely do that. And um, just remember, analyze your own website. Here we go. I pulled it up here just to see what kind of um, key keywords you're ranking for, which are all over here. And I will also look at your backlink profile, your referring domains. So this is you, and as it's loading, I'm going to go back to your competitor that you had provided, um, and you can see where all their backlinks come from. And it's important to go in and see if you can grab uh, backlinks. A lot of the times, backlinks will come from blogs or something like Pinterest or from even citations, different directories. If your site is up there, you'll get, you'll see you um, you'll have a lot of. Uh, sorry, they can they might be able to give you good backlinks. For example, business directory that's a directory site, so you can get a citation there. So go through your competitors. The higher quality backlinks, make sure you get them, um, especially attached to the keywords that you want to rank for. And uh, on your side, okay, these are the backlinks that you have. You have, uh, sorry, you have backlinks from about 337 domains. And I would definitely go through your own backlinks. And here, let me just get the lower quality backlinks showing up first. And I would remove these lower quality backlinks so you're at google sees that you're attached to all these backlinks here especially from blogspot and I'm not sure if they, anyone was doing um your seo early on but i can see there are a lot of uh, blog uh, spot backlinks which have zero strength and um no real domains i mean sorry no do follow domains so and these but these uh, backlinks have almost zero traffic which is concerning, they seem a bit spammy. So I'll definitely remove the bad backlinks, the zero traffic backlinks, and then increase on what your competitor has. This is a competitor again. So um, you can see their, ba their strongest backlinks have a lot of traffic going to them. So it's all a, g a game of keeping up with your competitors who have done a good job, but it is possible. 
So that's just a bit of advice. You, you can give this video to whoever you need to to um, help you if you've already found someone to do this work. Otherwise, I'm more than willing to work with you and help you get to the first page of Google for the kind of searches that you want. Again, my name is Charles and my contact information is with this video. Thank you very much.